Cheers! I know, right? Okay, I'm here. Welcome! I did it. Hi. Welcome! Welcome to camp. Do you want to craft a, uh, the signs up there? Look at it. Look at it. It's cool. Um, cool, cool, cool. It is amazing. <laughs> but welcome, welcome. Uh, We've been waiting getting... all day for you. It's nighttime. I was going to say, yes. Oh. It's it's the thing. So, <laughs> it was thing, a very first... long train ride. It, it <laughs> was. Yes, a it very was. Long <laughs> yeah. First things first, I'm the realist. But secondly, we're going to go get everybody a tent for the night. So follow me. Okay. Yeah. Yep, uh, and then we're going to show you where the bathroom is at along the way because, you know, the reason. It was a long train um, ride. Yes, um, it really was. Yeah. In the event you need to use the bathroom, it's right here. Um, okay. <laughs> these are your tents. Uh, please look inside. If your name is inside, it means they have been claimed, and that is where your bed is, oh, and you can great. rest right. for the night. All right, and good morning. Good morning, good morning campers. Good morning. Don't forget to change All the right. signs in your tent so you know which one is yours. Uh, so so welcome to camp do you want a crafta where the summer is yours but remember once summer is over camp shuts down because i'm i'm i am your because this is summer what? camp exactly right. I, <laughs> and i am your camp leader by default because i picked up the book that said from the previous camp leader i quit and now oh, I'm camp no. leader. Oh, yeah um, <laughs> that, that's, that's pretty Welcome That's to the most nice. official camp ever. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. this general area first, uh, to behind, directly behind you, um, is a request board. So, it makes sense later, but basically you can put up requests here um, for things you may need, things you're looking for. There is going to be shops in the end. You know, at the end result, you can build shops, whatever. This board over here is our job board. Now, some of us already have jobs because we, we you know, we built this place from the ground <laughs> up with our blood, sweat, and tears by finding that book. <laughs> so currently we have uh, our archery instructor as Alexa. Our blacksmith will be Mr. Cream Testy. Um, yeah. I am the camp doctor, so I'm gonna oh, focus wow. on uh, <laughs> on like, you know, potions and all that kind of good stuff, like apothecary, but Dr. Sounds Cooler, and every other position is open. <laughs> These are not set in stone. If you want to do a certain job and it's not up here, let me know and I'll just put your name on the board. Um, this building directly right to it. Uh, upstairs is the camp office. There's really nothing up there, but you can go up there if you want. Um, <laughs> Wait, down... maybe they'll touch the book and they'll be in charge of the camp. Oh, I mean, if you want to do that. <laughs> Directly below it, you no. are. We have so the database upstairs told us who's supposed to be coming to camp. So this is our mail room. The shulker boxes are for people to give you mail. They shouldn't be taken to your homes. You can you know get your own shulker boxes, whatever. Um, and I think I just realized I spelled this guy's name wrong. Anyway, um, it's, it's not my it's not my fault. Uh, <laughs> Mine too. I know. Stop it. We can fix it. I also don't miss me out good. We, we can we can rebuild it. It is fine. It's okay. We can it's rebuild okay. it. You can rebuild it. You're you're forgiving. <laughs> You're right, so it. so the, yeah, just um, we'll, we'll fix them. Um, I'm, I apologize. So it's basically this will be where your mail will be dropped off. These are the potential people in our uh, summer camp. So if they show up, they show up, and if not, then we then you know I'll give you the okay and steal their chocolate boxes. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Thievery. laughs> this is um, it's like a general like food prep station area for you know food. If people feel like being generous and making stuff for people, there is a job for chef. Please apply within. Um, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. Little, too. <laughs> we have a little picnic area right here for you to sit down, enjoy your lunch, dinner, afternoon snack. You know, whenever we chat get a with chef. friends. Pretty much right. <laughs> Until she. then. <laughs> Until, <laughs> then. <laughs> Until yeah. then. Good luck, everybody else. Um, and then. <laughs> So our final place for this little tour of a camp is right in here, which is the, you know, campfire, which is warm, cozy, inviting. Yeah! Yay. Terrifying! I'm fire. trapped. I'm trapped. Yay, I'm trapped. trapped. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to play in the fire. I'm good. Good. I'm good. I'm fine. This is fine. Well, it's well, I think, I think. <laughs> I was just doing what the camp director did. I didn't jump in there though. No, no, I'm the archery instructor, not the okay, fire archery. instructor. Fire safety instructor. Okay, so I mean that's the pretty much the basic introduction of camp. Have fun. 
you can have <laughs> shops for shops. The only thing I will say is we've decided that gold will be the currency for everybody. And okay. it, it has the form of nuggets, bars and blocks. So, you know, if you provide a service or you provide an item and it's kind of rare, you set your price, people will pay it. Please don't steal. I trust everybody oh, right. to not do that or anything like that because it's going to be the hopper system because we don't have the vending blocks. So, okay. and that's pretty much it. Before you go, because it, it, this is pretty much the end of our little welcome to summer. <laughs> Please grab a backpack back here, which will have a starter tool and some food for you. As okay. you make your way out to the world, you should be able to teleport and put a journey map here. Remember, camp is always home where the heart is and all that other good Yay. stuff. Okay. And um, you're free to explore anywhere. The biomes are open. If people have an area marked as theirs, please do not, you know, build on it or anything like that. You know, basic respect stuff. Everybody knows it. Okay. And th that is essentially camp. Do you want to craft a rule guide? Yay! Yay! <laughs> and welcome to summer camp. I expect many great things. Uh, Please do things with each other. You know, there's the end dragon, there's end cities. Um, explore some of our mods for this pack. Uh, there's not many like to do mods, but Tani is in here in case you haven't seen the flowers around just to add a little bit yeah. of, you know, extra, something a little additional. Uh, we have Tinker's Construct, which, you know, Chromtastic is going to be making the weapons for. Oh God. Ooh, yes. <laughs> and... <laughs> so you're scary. <laughs> Practice for fire safety. Right. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna put up a fence in here. The next time we might be inside this area is gonna be for a campfire story session, which you know we should hopefully have once or twice throughout the summer. But um, thank you, thank you everybody for joining us and have fun at camp. Woo! Thank you. Oh, yeah. oh god! Oh god! Hey, Okay, everyone seems to be situated after the camp introductions. Uh, so I think uh, I think it's time to go uh, make ourselves a home. I've already picked out an area uh, because I, I'm not living out of a tent for the entire summer, because uh, that's a little ridiculous. So we are going to build a house. Uh, we're going to build probably a little shop either connected to or underneath the house for archery stuff. Um, and I've decided a couple of additional challenges for myself uh, on this ser server series. Uh, camp this summer that that's the one this summer the first task is that I'm only going to be using a bow for the entire summer in this series um, it might run into problems with endermen because uh, endermen they can't be shot by arrows but I don't know if I can swing my bow at them if it works so I might try to enchant a bow like a sword and have like a sword bow or something like that. I don't know, I don't know. We'll figure it out, but I'm going to try to not need a sword or an ax for battle. Uh, we're going to only use bows because I am the archer instructor. It just makes perfect sense. Um, plus it's a little bit of an extra added challenge because I can only range fight things. So if I'm close, it's, it's gonna be difficult. Um, I think that was pretty much the only challenge. <laughs> I'm gonna come up with a couple of other ones. Um, oh wait, oh no, I do have I have a, a, a quick challenge for me too. So this is on 1.11.2, and that means that end cities are a thing after 1.9, uh, and I almost never get to use Elytra on a server until it's the end. I did this on Lux. I only used my Elytra at the at the the end, uh, and I actually had it the entire series. I just never used it. So the first, oh, and also Rooted. Rooted, we got Elytra as the very, very, very last thing, and I didn't get to fly around the server as much as I wanted to. I think that there is an item that can help us fly. We do have inventory pets, so I could find a cloud pet, but I think it'd be so much more fun if I just used Elytra, uh, because then I can chant them, make sure that they're like super powerful and stuff like that. Uh, and then I could actually just actually play with Elytra because that would be a lot of fun. So that means that I'm going to quickly, really, really quickly, uh, have to go to the nether uh, to get blazes and then I'm gonna have to go to the end and find the end portal like super fast because I want to do this like by the end of July like we're going fast guys for Sonic um, so let's go over to the area where I've picked for the house uh, and it's not that far away um, it's it's actually an enjoyable walk but I know that Crimtastic had considered making a um, a rail system for us to get back to camp because he's building his house right behind me, I think. I have consulted and apparently he has shrugged and just said sure, so I'm not sure. You can see it, the outline's there. Okay. 
Okay, so right here. Oh, yep, yeah, he's already started his forge. A lot bigger than I anticipated. <laughs> Uh, so I guess he's gonna have his house here with his forge attached. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I picked this whole big area over here for me uh, because I don't know how big I'm going to make it. So the house is definitely going to be over here somewhere and then the shop uh, towards the side. So this whole area I've picked out for me, I just gotta pick out what I'm going to build out of. Uh, I have a lot, a lot of dark oak. So uh, we're gonna be using dark oak to build. I think I'm gonna use this flowering oak to kind of spruce up the place. I wanna get a bunch of clovers because they're cute. Um, and maybe some purple and pink silent gem flowers. That'll be, that'll be adorable too. Uh, but I need to make uh, other materials. So I wasn't sure, and I talked about Crimtas or I talked to Crimtastic about this. We thought that it would be pretty if I did quartz, like nether quartz. But it sounds like a horrible idea because I'd need so much. Um, so I'm definitely going to do the dark oak and I'm going to get the jacaranda. So maybe, maybe I'll use birch. I don't, I don't even know. I mean, birch posts would be really cute instead of the dark oak. So maybe we'll do dark oak floor and roof, birch logs for posts, and then jacaranda for everything else. That might be cute. All right, let's go look for some jacaranda. We do have nature's compass though, so nature's compass uh, can help me find biomes. So how do, how do I make a nature's compass? Oh yeah, that was the other thing. Um, I wanna go to the end so I can get uh, tipped arrows and I need dragon's breath for that. And I specifically want poison arrows because they seem to be the most effective, or at least the ones that make the most sense. So we're gonna be getting dragon's breath too, which means I'm gonna need some glass bottles eventually. I'll have to make a list. Okay, nature's compass is any kind of saplings, a compass, and spruce wood. Okay, and then a compass. Redstone and four iron. As it turns out, I have nothing to make any tools, and I don't have, uh, I don't have a pickaxe. So we're gonna make a wooden one first, and then we're gonna get enough stone. Uh, and then we just gotta find four iron and redstone, so we're gonna have to go pretty deep down into the caves. It's nighttime anyway, so it should it should be okay. Uh, you know what? I have a feeling Crimtastic's already bled that cave dry, um, so we're just we're just gonna go find a new one real fast. Let's go down this way. Okay, perfect. Oh, look at that surface iron, beautiful. I need stone first. Okay, let's make a quick furnace. So now the problem is, is I don't have a bow yet. So I just have to keep hitting things with my pickaxe instead. This is gonna be a problem. Uh, okay, this is, this is fine. Oh no, I only have three, don't I? Ah, uh, no, okay, only three. Uh, oh, there's another one over there. Grab this coal. Oh wait, I think I have vein miner. Sweet, it broke, but it's okay. Oh, you know what? I should probably be collecting this gravel because I'm gonna need some flint. Oh, that worked. I did not know you could vein mine gravel. Okay, so I have my four iron with the compass. I just need redstone now. I already made an iron pick. I'm just gonna wait for this to finish smelting because we're gonna bring it down with us uh, so it doesn't get lost. Okay, two redstone. Ooh, more iron, yes. I love vein miners so much, yes. Okay, looks like lava down. Oh, nope, just a glow flower, okay. Lots of little flowers. It's iron. Okay. Oh, this goes really far down. I also, I'm starting to hear zombies. Oh, skeleton. Uh-oh, this is gonna be bad. Why did I say I wasn't gonna use a sword? I might just use an ax for now. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to use an ax for now. Give me a bow. Danger. I'm in danger. This is fine. Uh, oh! I'm gonna die. <gasps> I didn't die. And see? It's like so hard to, to pass up on iron when I don't have any armor. <laughs> okay. You know, I just need to go to redstone and, and I'll come back. I know where this cave is. It's fine. Uh, double. Okay, you know what? This is fine because... You didn't blow up the iron, that's good. Okay. Ooh, silent gems! I could probably make a bow. I don't have any string. 
Yeah. Probably not. Yay! Was that opal? Yay! It was opal! Okay, cool. Uh, so maybe, maybe we'll be able to have a bow rather soon, hopefully. Uh, redstone first. Can we get down to level 23? We're at 31. Oh yeah, this is, this is going down. Hello, agate. Oh, morganite. Nice. Oh, I found gold. That's good. Oh, I think I found another purple one. Okay, one, one thing of gold is fine. Ooh, sapphire. Hey, hey. I'm gonna have to start putting these in my backpack. I hear a skeleton. There it is. There we go. Hey. It looks clear. Ooh, more gold. Cool. Uh, grab this. Ooh, creeper. Ugh. Oh. Just, just leave me alone. Okay, I'll take on powder too. That works. Okay. <gasps> redstone! Redstone's right there! Oh, wait. That's not redstone. It's rotten flesh. Oop! I'm on a half a heart. Okay. Nope. 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 Eh. Eh. <sighs> okay. Okay. This area looks promising. Oh, is that Ruby? <gasps> yes! Well, this wasn't really the exploration adventure I was looking for. I was kind of hoping just to get the compass to go look for some jacaranda, but you know, this is this is different. This is this is exciting. Oh, there's there's a mine shaft. Okay, okay, okay. All right, friend. That was nice of you. <sighs> but you know what? Easy string, so then I can get my bow. And be okay. I can't get a bow because I don't have a sword. Okay. Well. I'm gonna go ahead and say that I can make a sword. Just to collect string. And then call it a day. There's another skeleton. Eh, eh, I'm gonna die. This was a mistake. This was a mistake. Oh. <sighs> okay, I'm back with armor and iron and and a shield. So hopefully this helps a little bit better. Uh, I think I was back here. Ah, here we go. Yep, yep, the skeleton's gone. Okay, but at least this is a dead end over here. We're just going to take take the string with the sword. And then we're gonna throw it out. There we go. Oh, okay. It might not be as hard as I thought it was going to be. Uh, I want to go over there in a second. <gasps> Redstone! We did it! I, okay, I did it. We are- we're totally at diamond level, but this is fine. Alright, just grab this. Cool. I don't want to explore too much over there. But we have our one itty bitty piece of redstone. I think we can just go back up to the surface now. Okay, so I've gotten a ton more of silent gems. Uh, I got a ton of string. We actually almost have a stack so we can make our first bow, which is super exciting. I don't have any feathers though, so I can't make any more arrows. I do have some flint. Um, I'm going to smelt up the rest of this stuff and then we're going to make our compass. And while that's all smelting, we will look for the jacaranda and then uh, we'll go from there. Although I should have probably gotten more coal. Okay, three string, three sticks, and our very first bow and arrow so we can go back to using that uh axe as an actual axe now that it's about to die uh you know i might as well just make a new one if i'm going to be chopping down some trees 
I'll bring some extra iron with me. Uh, so we need a new pickaxe. And we need a new axe. There we go. Cool. Awesome. Now, I still only have six arrows, so we do have to make a ton more. Uh, but maybe we can find some chickens on the way. We'll let all that stuff smelt up. Uh, and now for the nature's compass. So we use this for compass and saplings. Other way around. What am I doing wrong? Apparently it just isn't like dark oak logs. All right, well, we have our nature's compass now and we are going to be looking for a lavender fields. Lavender fields, search. We're 2,000 blocks away, guys. <sighs> okay, well, I think I'm going to leave today's episode here. We have our first bow, which is super exciting. We got a ton of material, so we're gonna be making some silent gems bows and stuff like that. Uh, I have to get some chickens between the episodes, and in the next episode, we are going to go on a, a adventure, I guess, uh, for some, uh, some materials to build our house out of. So we're going to get some jacaranda, and then hopefully we'll start laying out a plan to start building our house. Uh, but I think that we're on a good path to uh, start enjoying some summer camp. So if you guys enjoyed this episode and you're excited for this new series, make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to see the continuation of all of our series and everyone else's channels in the description down below. You can go ahead and follow them too. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!